perfect friday morning my dear friends hearty welcome to the online classes of st thomas school moa today we are going to deal with our third chapter that is called adjectives since this chapter is a longer one there will be two videos i ask everyone to watch both the videos which will be given today itself and with this let us enter into the chapter friends from the very smaller classes itself you are studying what i mean by an adjective there you have learned that adjective is a word that tells more about a noun and it can be many things it can be a description or a pointing out or a number or the quality so four things of a noun can be told and that can be called as adjectives for example look at the sentence karan is a naughty boy there it is being described more what kind of a boy naughty boy now second sentence red pen which pen a red pen their equality of the pen is being told now uh, we are going to see about the two kinds of adjectives that are attributive and predicative adjectives first of all let us see the example and then we shall go forward the example is the happy family sat down to dinner the second one is the family is happy now friends look where the adjective happy is being used in both the sentences in the first sentence happy is used just before a noun family but in the second sentence happy is used after the verb is so if we use a noun if we use an adjective before a noun that is called attributive adjective or we can tell that this adjective is being used as attributively friends what is it attributive adjective if an adjective comes before a noun now we are going to say about predicative adjective two rules first rule is the adjective should be in the predicate of the sentence second rule most important one it should come after the verb feel or become or seem or the forms of be remember friends if an adjective is being used predicatively then it should come after the forms of uh, the verb be that is is was were are all those then the verbs like feel become seem or else the thing is that that will be becoming an adverb we'll be seeing uh, in the last phase of this chapter now most of the adjectives we can use both as attributive as well as predicative for example it was a beautiful play or the play was beautiful now she is always alone preeti is asleep everybody is glad to be there look at the um, adjectives always asleep glad and there it is being always used as predicatively and there are kind, there are a few kinds of nouns that can only be used as attributive nouns uh, adjectives for example mere girl or former captain or this is 
the main event main is being used as attributively now we are going to see in this chapter the comparison of adjectives before that look at the sentences there chandu is a strong boy kunal is stronger than chandu asif is the strongest of all as you know the adjective here in this sentences is strong and though it is being used in a uh, different way the meanings of those uh, the uh, strong are same stronger strong or strongest same meaning but what happened here we compare it so when we compare the adjectives will be changing its form so those forms are called the degrees of comparison so there are three kinds first one is the positive degree second one is the comparative degree and the third one is the superlative degree now we shall see those three uh, in a detailed manner now positive degree the adjectives in its simplest form can be called as the positive degree for example the smart child the angry father or strong boy or beautiful play or happy family all this can be called as uh, the positive degree but what do you mean by the comparative degree when two people or things are compared then we need to use the comparative form for example look at the first sentence kunal is stronger than chandu there kunal and chandu are being compared so we use stronger so in order to compare two things or two people we use the comparative degree now what do you mean by the superlative degree if we compare more than two people or things we use the superlative degree superlative means the highest degree charu is the tallest boy in the class this is the best gift i have received or can you show me your biggest room and in most of the cases before the superlative degree we use uh, the article the for example look at the sentences there the tallest girl the best gift or the strongest now we shall see how it has been we need to use now formation of the comparative and superlative most of the adjectives uh, we can make the comparative and superlative by adding er or est for example tall taller tallest short shorter shortest bold bolder boldest or kind kinder kindest now if the adjective ends in e then only r or st to be added since e is already being present let us see the example brave b r a v e that ends with e so we add r or st in the comparative braver b r a v e r in the superlative b r a v e s t or in the next example white whiter whitest or wise wiser wisest now we shall see the next one suppose the adjectives end with y and before that a consonant comes then y we need to change into i then er or est to be added let us see one example and i will i shall explain you again the example here is happy look at the spelling h a p p y then in the comparative happier h a p p i e r then 
H A P P I E S T. Dear students, why we need not use why we did not use H A P P Y E R or H A P P Y E S T. Why? That is that the reason I, that reason I have told you um, uh, just before giving the example. That is, if an adjective ends in Y. and before that the consonant sound comes here p the sound p comes happy then we need to change that y into i then ha est or er to be added or look at the next word ec then easier easiest then heavy heavier heaviest now we have uh, another one uh, Uh, the ad another forms of adjectives uh, that are ending with the consonant sounds and before that consonant sound a short vowel sound should come then that consonant will be doubling and er or est will be added for example hot there the consonant uh, is t hot and before that consonant a short vowel o hot we never say hot but we say hot then that consonant is being doubled h o t t e r or h o t t e s t then thin thinner thin thinnest fat fatter fattest then sad sadder sadest remember ending with consonant then before that a short vowel now the next one that is you might have heard about syllables that means unit of pronunciation with a one at least one vowel uh, in a word then if there are two syllables that is not ending with a uh, y then we need to add more or most more with the comparative then most with the superlative now look at the first word proper there are two syllables pro per pro is one syllable and per is p e r is another syllable so we add more proper or most proper or look at the next word beautiful more beautiful most beautiful interesting more interesting most interesting then expensive more expensive most expensive and there are other adjectives also uh, that are called irregular comparisons that is all the three forms will be different for example good better best much more most little less least but worse worst old older elder oldest eldest far farther or further or farthest or farthest now we shall see the last two uh, words old older elder or oldest or eldest now where we use this as you know the positive is old and the comparative is older or elder or oldest or eldest in superlative now elder and eldest are only we use to talk about the people not about animals or about any uh, uh, any things but only for the people that is to that is also about our own family members and one more thing we never say elder than we say tony is my elder brother we never say tony is elder than me but we say tony is older than me then this older or oldest both can be used with the people as well as things 
remember that elder and eldest are all, only used with the family members then older and old, older and oldest can be used with uh, the families uh, the mem the people as well as the things now farther and farther that means uh, the positive is far then farther farther farthest farthest now farther or farthest is uh, used to tell about the distance then further is being used to mean in addition to for the example the airport was farther from the city than i thought now i want to hear no further argument that means no additional argument now there are um, another uh, two three more things that is that are called uh, later uh, last uh, later latest we use latter and latest with a reference to time later and latest with reference to time then latter and last are used with the position look at the example it is later than i thought now the latter part of the book was boring so later and latest with reference to time latter and last are used for positions so this video ends here and you will have one more video uh, today itself um, then let us see in that video